Yes, do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, it's Thursday lunchtime. Hope you're all well. Who was it said when you start vlogging, your nose itches? The right? <laughs> oh, so what will we chat about today? I don't know, but it better be good because the last last two vlogs I made or two videos were seemingly completely uh, struck out. Yeah, anyway, very few people, like it was this morning was, I think each one had nine views <laughs> and one of them had zero comments this morning after 24 hours. That's pretty good for my ego. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what I was going to talk about today, as often I've been reading an article which was saying something that was I wonder how much of it is true. It was talking about that uh, the uh, younger generation um, is taking a lot less hard drugs now and that they're attributing that to uh, digital or actually even a little bit more precise cell phones, smartphones to be even more precise that people are basically getting their kicks out of their smartphone now. Now, there's a bit of data that seems to show that that could be, could be true. But I, I do kind of wonder, because we all know, I mean, because we're all into this thing, I mean, how addictive uh, digital uh, and the social media can be. I know I'm pretty much addicted to it myself actually. I really go to it regularly and uh, put up vlogs even though nobody watches them and I'm being facetious but you, you, you know you know what I mean. I mean it's uh, it's something that we're all into. We like it. It's a great hobby and like I say it's a great hobby but it's up to a point addictive. But then again, we've been saying that for years and years and years about televisions. Uh, get away from that screen, that's all you can do, go outside. We've been saying it about televisions, we've been saying it uh, about Game Boys, uh, about gaming as such. I mean, I know um, at least one person who's gone into basically I was going to say the AAs for for gaming basically out, out to one of those you know camps to get off of it so yeah I mean addictive yeah digital is but I was just going to say it's been around for a while with with the gaming and everything and uh, and actually with the portable computers okay it's not as portable as our cell phones and tablets and so on are and of course the social media was way different but to say that that would be the reason that hard drugs are off hmm I don't know what do you think I, I got the impression that maybe this this study is not quite not quite right actually because could it be that actually, eventually, there is something about prevention that's coming in? I don't know either. I mean, I, I'm a little bit stumped on this one. I wouldn't say that the younger generation is... I don't know. Are they less risk-taking? That could be, maybe, one of the things. Were we more prone to take risks? than the younger generation now. You know, I kind of think that could be something there because many of them are just kind of blasé now and they basically, I was going to say, uh, use instead of, they're not going into the hard stuff, you know what I mean? But they're, they're, they're going into maybe, you know, something like to just kind of deaden out the senses like a good drink every now and then I don't know is that it I wonder anybody want a pair of jeans and 
and a glove. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is uh, it was part of the the article. It was a lot longer than that. I mean, it was there was a whole bunch of discussions and hypotheses and uh, is it the availability I mean the availability of drugs is just as easy as it used to be I mean uh, if you want drugs you will find them and I mean, we we still hear things regularly you know about drug bust and stuff like that not even that long ago I saw a Canadian uh, Canadian newspaper in one of the towns not very far from where I used to live that they busted a, a lab and in another town really close to where I used to live that they busted a um, marijuana grower and if you take talking about marijuana and so on edibles and all that are more and more available in places like Colorado for example um, and we're not talking I mean about medical marijuana here I mean it's just basically recreational so you know, I, I wonder about that article. The thing is, was the article really trying to compare drugs with uh, digital and amongst other social media uses, but there was a big association with the smartphones. Like I say, we all know how people are, ourselves included in a way, with our digital devices and our smartphones. So yeah, like I say, Give me your opinion. What do you think about it? I think that it's maybe only partially true. But I really wouldn't put the full correlation like the article tended to try. Okay, that'll be a quick take for now. DC signing off. Take care, everybody. And it is Thursday, so I'm looking forward to that weekend already. Bye-bye.